Welcome to Report Connection with Tommy. This video is on your SmackDown spoilers. You'll be in a minute spoilers. <clears throat> of course, our birthdays uh, didn't ha uh, find any. Uh, did have a death in uh, this day in history, February 23, 1999. The renegade, Rick Wilson, took his own life at the age of 33, February 23, 1999. Smackdown Dark Main Events with advertisers, Roman Reigns, and Dean Ambrose versus Sheamus and Kevin Owens. Well, looks like they may be doing the storyline that uh, Roman Reigns will be out of action for at least a week. Uh, due to that, so that they wouldn't have a, a, a Dark match main event. According to BW Insider, Payback will be on May 1st with the location to be announced. While Extreme Rules is now in indeed the May 22nd show in Newark, New Jersey. Get this. May 22nd is right after the pay-per-view. <clears throat> and this is a spoiler on that as a uh, go to Ticketmaster uh, website and look for the There'll be an event, a uh, Raw on that event. And don't know if it's uh, still posted, but I will post a picture of what uh, I found on that. It's a spoiler advertising that Raw will take on WWE. Thus, spoiler for WrestleMania, Shane versus Undertaker, possible interference. That's why I'm going to guess to keep it a Shane beating the Undertaker. <clears throat> like I said, all of a sudden, on the Ticketmaster website, which is in the middle of its ticket pre-sale, has been named, renamed Extreme Rules. Logo and all, at least uh, as of last night during the Monday Night Raw, all New York market ads for the uh, tickets going on sale. The card is at the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. The show was still branded as Payback. Extreme Rules had originally been scheduled for April 24th, three weeks after WrestleMania, but no location had been announced, and tickets never went on sale. Extreme Rules is, as of right now, not listed on WWE.com's event page in any form, though Payback is. Unless there's something else going on, it looks like the second April pay-per-view has been canceled to have a longer build for the May post-WrestleMania special. As... There is no pay-per-view for March at all to build up WrestleMania. So they're going to build up the first pay-per-view after that. Another four or five weeks. Uh, maybe there's a piece piece of this puzzle missing. But with uh, Newark tickets on sale and no location even announced for the second April show, it looks like this is the case. Japanese wrestler blogger Inuhito reports that the former Bullet Club member Carl Anderson Officially announced he is headed to WWE as Anderson was quoted by saying and translated NJPW fans are the best in the world. I want to come back someday to get IWGP Heavyweight Championship. I have to go to find real who I am and be to be a big star. Anderson and Doc Gallows wrestled their final match for NJPW on Saturday at the New Japan Versus Ring of Honor on a rising show from the Tokyo Dome. And I'll give you results of that later in this video. They will be heading to WWE NXT in the next few months. Anderson is the best friend of NXT champion Finn Balor. And I'll show you a picture, some pictures of that. Saturday's Ring of Honor versus uh, NJPW's on a rising show from Tokyo, Japan. The Elite, Kenny Omega, and the Young Bucks captured the Never Open. Six-man tag titles from Toru Yano and the Briscoe Brothers backstage after the show. Then they issued a challenge to another popular three-man faction in WWE, such as The New Day. They even did their thing. And you can go to, through the video here for that. As the Elite issues an open challenge by video link. And uh, that was uh, tweeted by Nick Jackson, YB. If you don't know what YB is, Young Bucks, formerly of uh, Generation Me from TNA, and also more members of the Bullet Club. At a couple of different points, uh, tonight, the official WWE Games Twitter account tweeted the name uh, these animated gifts to hype Tuesday's release of the Hall of Fame 
Download a content, a content pack for the WWE 2K16, which is out today. And you can go to that link as well. Twitter.com backslash WWE Games backslash status. Or status. And then a bunch of numbers. At WWE Games, Tatumi Fujinami versus Rick Flip at Rick Flair Nature Boy in the hashtag WWE 2K16 Hall of Fame DLC. Drops today. 223. Details 2kgames.com. Twitter as well. I'll go to that for, for your video. Already know that night that 1991 versus of Ric Flair and Tatsumi Fujinami plus a relevant match replay mode were in the Hall of Fame pack, but they had two matches that year. It seemed like it made more sense for 2K to base it off of their match from Super Brawl in St. Petersburg, Florida. But from the above foot uh, from the footage from the video, it looks like they didn't. Instead, 2K picked the other Flair Fujinami match from the NJPW Tokyo Dome show that year. So the Tokyo Dome is also in the DLC, which is known as both WCW Japan Super Show and the NJPW Starcade 91 in the Tokyo Dome. So that means that the arena that comes in the pack is an <clears throat> Ursat's uh, Tokyo Dome. Recreated by 2K Sports, they can't call it. They can't call it that, and I don't believe WWE Games ever name real venues. But yes, they do, because they've uh, done Shreveport. But, uh, but, but not the actual Hirsch Coliseum. So that means that the arena that comes into the pack is, and should be, no exception. And here's the full lineup for the DLC pack. Which, if this is any indication, should also include at least two more WCW arenas and some early 1990s WWF arenas, along with period appropriate versions of the wrestlers Macho Man Randy Savage versus Jake the Snake Roberts, Rikishi versus The Rock, Alundra Blaze versus Page, The Living Legend Larry Zabisco and Arn Anderson versus Ricky the Jacket Seaboat and Dustin Rhodes. If you don't know, just call me bro because Dustin Rose is is a gold dust name. And you got Tatsumi Fujinami versus Ric Flair, the Bushwhackers, B Butch Miller and Luke Williams versus the Natural Disasters, Typhoon and Earthquake, Outsiders Kevin Nash and Scott Hall versus Harlem Heat, Booker T and C.B. Ray. Most of those uh, wrestlers I just named are already in my 70 member created list. The largest roster ever, as they keep on saying every year. The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, is currently scheduled to film Baywatch, Fast 8, then Rampage. And now has added a fourth movie to his schedule. According to Hollywood Reporter, Rock has signed on to film a sequel to last year's hit, San Andreas. And I'll be posting a link for that. The sequel to San Andreas focuses on the Ring of Fire, which circles the Pacific Ocean with fault lines and volcanoes, and according to scientists, is home to about 90% of the world's earthquakes. Carla Gugino, Alexandra D'Addario, and Paul Giamatti are also signed on to resume their roles in the sequel. And here's a link for the San Andreas clip. The Rock is booked to appear also at Rayland WrestleMania, but reportedly won't be able to wrestle due to Baywatch's insurance provider. ODB announced in her Periscope video that she was hit by a drunk driver at 4.30 in the mo uh, this morning. She said that she had left a bar in the Tampa uh, area and passed out in her Airstream travel trailer. At 4.30 in the morning, a drunk woman hit the trailer. It was parked, by the way, and I'll show you a picture of that as well. And she comments by saying, it sucked because I, I was sleeping and my head was where she hit, as ODB said. Well, ODB had to wake up the woman. She noted that the woman had a beer in her, in her car and was passed out and urinated, her, and urinated herself when the police attempted to wake her. She said that if the airstream wasn't there, the woman likely would have plowed through the bar and died. ODB said that she was fine. However, her neck was hurt, hurting after the incident. And again, I'll show you the picture. 
Last week, Deanna Perrazzo, who has appeared on three episodes of NXT, received a WWE tryout over the weekend. February the 15th, Perrazzo also played one of Adam Rose's Road Buds back in 2014. And Perrazzo is only 21 years old, independent wrestler from the New Jersey area who made her debut in 2014. Uh, again, I got a, quite a few pictures of that to show you for that. Uh, speculation on WrestleMania spoiler that I spoke about earlier on who will win the match, Shane or Taker. And again, show you some pictures uh, here to see what I'm talking about. Uh, again, this is a uh, Raw that will be taped after the May 22nd pay-per-view, which has been changed to Extreme Rules following results. From Friday's Ring of Honor versus New Japan Honor Rising Night 1 show from Tokyo, Japan. Night 1. Matt Seidel and Jushin Thunder Liger defeated Dalton Castle and Ryusuke, uh, Ryosuke Taguchi. Delirious defeated Ghetto. IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion. Kushida defeated Kazarian. Nine, nine title action. Tanahashi Hanma. The Tanahashi, Hanma, Michael Elgin, and Moose defeated the Bullet Club. Back up fail. Tama Tonga, Yujiro Takahashi, and Cody Hall in an eight-man tag match. Yeah, Cody Hall, the son of the Scott Hall. Hey, yo. Bullet Club members, Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks defeated Shibata and Red Dragon, or Red Dragon in six-man tag match. To become the new six man tag team champions. Briscoe Brothers defeated Bullet Clubs, Carl Anderson and Doc Gallows, who are no longer with New Japan Pro Wrestling anymore. Ring of Honor World Champion Jay Lethal and Naito defeated IWGP World Heavyweight Champion Kazuchika Okada and Yoshihashi. Tomohiro Ishii defeated Ring of Honor TV Champion Roger Stone to capture the new. Uh, Capture and be the Ring of Honor TV champion. And she won with a brain buster. Let me show you some pictures of that. Night two, the following results from Saturday's event. Jay White defeated David Finley Jr. My, Matt Seidel and Jushin Thunder Liger defeated Delirious and Ghetto. Dalton Castle defeated Kazarian. Shibata and Goto and Red Dragon defeated the Bullet Clubs. Carl Anderson, Doc Gallows, Bad Luck Fail, and Tomo Tonga in eight man action. After match, Gallows and Ambrose said farewell to NJPW. Well, I'll just have to correct myself. Carl said it was Friday night that he uh, that they left, not Saturday night. And some of the pictures came from Carl himself. Moose and IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion Kushida defeated Nao, Naito and Bushi. Michael Elgin, Roger Strong, and Tanahashi defeated IWGP World Heavyweight Champion. Kazuchika Okada and Tomohiro Ishii and Yoshihashi in a six-man tag match. The Elite, Kenny Omega. Well, okay. Well, night two again was the uh, night that new six-man tag team champions, the Elite, Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks, capturing the never-open six-man tag titles from Toro Yano and the Briscoe Brothers. So they had a rematch. Ring of Honor World Champion Jay Lethal defeated Hanma. Afterwards, Lethal and Martini aligned with Naito, Evil, and Bushi as part of the Los Inga Inga Bernal Burnables De Japan faction. Thanks to uh, PuroSuspirit.net for both reports. <clears throat> First report for main event. Thanks to Ryan Brammer on Twitter at uh, Dark Match Bart Dark, Jeremy Beaver at Tonto Jr. and Amber Andrew at DMB the DM Bond Demand for the following main event spoilers from Indianapolis, Indiana. Bo Dallas with the social outcast defeated Darren Young. Naomi defeated Paige. Naomi got a near fall with a rear view. But came back and got the win by submission. Ryback defeated Tyler Breeze with a shell shock after a back and forth match. 
Braun Strowman defeated Fandango by submission. Second report, thanks to Ryan Cardinal, who was at the SmackDown taping, past the main event, spoilers. <clears throat> he said it was a decent crowd, 300 level, it, it was covered up, but about 80% of the 200s and all the 100s and the floor are full. Match number one, Goldust and Stardust in a dark match. Jerry the King Lawler and Rich Brennan came out, but they kept the SmackDown graphics up in arena. So this appeared to be a the dark match. Goldust won with a basic in a basic six minute match. Main event uh taping saw Bo Dallas with Adam Rose, Heath Slater, Curtis Axel beating Darren Young. Outcast announced that they are getting biker jackets for the road to WrestleMania. I'll admit, I chuck, uh, chuckled, as the reporter said. Young got most of the offense, but both held the ropes and got the pin in about five minutes. Outcast got decent heat. Second match, Naomi beat Paige. A long match that was pretty good, all things considered. Naomi made Paige tap in about 12 minutes. Match number three, Ryback defeated Tyler Breeze. Ryback did his normal talk into the camera thing coming out. But then they played what happened on Raw. Face, maybe. He played to the crowd but uh, a bit during the match. So he still face. He just wants to be a loner. Though a Goldberg champ broke out from the crowd just before Ryback hit Shell Shot for the win in about eight minute match. Offense was 50-50 uh, for both. Match number four. Braun Strowman defeated Fandango. What would you expect? Roughly in about three minutes. And that ended the main event. Thank God, as the reporter said. Third result, thanks to Steve Carrier, who gave no credit to any others, who also does many reports on uh, many uh, dirt sheets, such as Lords of Pain. Uh, uh, I think uh, Steve also does Ringside News. Well, very brief, as he gave. Bo Dallas defeated Darren Young, Naomi defeated Paige, Ryback defeated Tyler Breeze, Braun Strowman defeated Fandango. SmackDown for your February 26th episode. From Indianapolis, Indiana, there's a podium set up in the ring as Triple H makes his way down to the ramp to start to kick off the show. He sets his World Heavyweight title on the podium and cuts a promo on Roman Reigns. He assures he will win at WrestleMania and quotes, Sympathy for the Devil by the Rolling Stones. And show you a pic uh, as he's uh, leaving the ring. As uh, I think one reporter sent him one picture of, of the entire evening. And that was uh, on his uh, Twitter account. Uh, booked for later on in the evening. Chris Jericho, AJ Styles, and a mystery partner versus The New Day. Seamus Rusev, King Barrett, and Alberto Del Rio. League of Nations defeated Neville, Dolph Ziggler, and Sakara, and Callisto. Barrett was in the ring for a lot of the match. Sheamus hit Broke Kick on Neville for the pinfall victory. Kevin Owens backstage with Renee Young. Owens uh, brags about beating everyone WWE puts in front of him. But the Big Show appears and objects to that. They set up a match for later. Devon Dudley defeated Jimmy Uso. This one ended quickly with some interference from Bubba Ray Dudley at ringside. Backstage segment. Styles and Jericho picked Mark Henry as their tag team partner for later in the evening. They announced that The Undertaker will be appearing on next week's episode of Raw. <coughs> Kevin Owens defeated Big Show. Kevin Owens won by countout after crossing Show on the top rope and knocking him to the floor. Natalya defeated Becky Lynch. Natalya won by disqualification when Naomi and Tamina interfered. Tamina kicked Natalya out to the floor. Sasha Banks came down and assisted Becky Lynch. Charlotte and Ric Flair come out to and announce Becky versus Sasha for Raw next week. R-Truth defeated Heath Slater. Goldust came out to ringside and helped R-Truth secure the victory. AJ Styles, Chris Jericho, and Mark Henry defeated the New Day. Jericho and Styles hit tandem springboard splashes to the outside on all New Day members before mocking their dance moves with Mark Henry. Styles made Xavier Woods tap to the calf crusher. Styles, Henry, and Jericho celebrated to end the show. As you can see, no Roman Reigns from that report. And also, guess what? No Dean Ambrose either. Report uh, number two, thanks to Ryan Cardinal. 
from in Indianapolis, Indiana. A video recap, the triple threat at Fast Lane, but not the raw angle to close the show. Triple H came out wearing a suit to open the show to mainly cheers. Ring was covered in black with a back, uh, black rug. There was a table for the World Heavyweight Championship title belt. There was a video that recapped Raw's closing angle. It was 70-30 cheers after the video. Hunter said that he, he's the authority here, despite the suit and tie. Talking about authority, Drew Booze. <clears throat> and then he quoted some Rolling Stones song a few times. He talked about blood, sweat, and tears, and then pulled out and dropped a bloody bandage, presumably from Roman Reigns on Raw. Hunter then said he would get Roman's tears at WrestleMania. Six-man tag match with New Day versus AJ Styles, Chris Jericho, and a mystery opponent was advertised for later in the evening. Match number one, Sheamus, Wade Barrett, Rusev, and Alberto Del Rio, the League of Nations defeated. Kalissa, Sakara, Neville, and Dolph Ziggler. Barrett actually wrestled, so that's good. No Lana, so that's bad. Uh, a short match, but good action and a few, a few near falls. It ended with Sheamus giving the big kick to Neville for the pin. I guess the reporter doesn't know. It's a bro kick. <coughs> Super kick, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Sheamus calls it bro kick. You know, he does a bro, bro. Kevin Owens was in an interview by Re Renee Young backstage. Owens commended Dean Ambrose for his resilience on Raw and offered him a rematch. But Renee informed Dean wasn't there. Owens said he was, he had the night off. Big Show interrupted. Kevin Owens said he's on the road to WrestleMania, but pointed and, uh, and said Show's road to retirement is that way. Show wasn't amused and said he was he has an IC title match for later. Great stuff from KO. Devon Dudley defeated D Jimmy Uso. There was a good pre-match Dudley promo, mostly from Bubba. Devon quickly quickly run one with a roll up. Oh, well, let's just see what hap what actually happens on the show when they do it. Channel Mac angle recap video aired, and Taker was hyped for Raw next week's Raw. AJ Styles and Chris Jericho backstage. AJ talked a bit, but Jericho spoke more. Mark Henry joined them and is now their partner versus New Day. Godfather Hall of Fame video aired, including shots of his lady friends. Uh, remember, uh, ho train from the Attitude Era, a recap of Ryback walking out on the Titans on Raw aired. Kevin Owens beat Big Show by count out in the Intercontinental title match. Kevin Owens and Show traded offense. Show eventually went to the top rope, and Kevin knocked him off. Knocked him off. Show straddled the ropes and fell to the outside and got counted out. Kevin Owens grabbed the belt and ran to the back. Now the champions will be held Sunday, September 25th in Indianapolis. Announced in the arena. WWE PRE is this pre-sale code. Get your tickets. Becky Lynch fought Natalya to a no contest. Naomi and Tamina attacked Natalya early. And then Becky before Sasha made a save. Uh, uh, Charlotte came out and announced that Becky Sasha number one contender match uh, announced for Raw. R Truth defeated Heath Slater with Adam Rose, Curtis Axe, and Bo Dallas in the corner. After Truth Truth's intro, Goldust came out and talked to Truth and stayed at ringside. Goldust punched Slater with the referee, and Truth not looking to help to help Truth score the pin. Truth seemed mildly upset after when he saw the replay. Hey Brock Ambrose recap. Video from Monday, New Day came out and did their usual stitch. Uh, Jericho, AJ, and then Henry made their entrances. AJ Styles, Chris Jericho, and Mark Henry defeated Kofi Kings and Big E and Xavier Woods. New Day referred to them as the Y2AJ. And those who did a fair amount of tandem moves, so maybe the two of them teaming will be, com uh, be common for a while. Mid-match, Jericho pushed AJ out of, out of the way. Of a spinning kick and took it to took it himself. AJ made Xavier tap with a calf crusher for the win. 
Uh, the baby faces celebrated in the ring after, but Jericho was selling the kick he took for AJ pretty hard. There was no dark match, so that closed the show. Thus, injuries. They have the night off. No match change. No, no main dark match. Thanks to Ryan Brammer, Jeremy Beaver, and Andrew from earlier. I just told you they did the uh, <coughs> main event spoilers. Also, just back down. Podium is at the ring. Triple H comes out in a suit, puts the World Heavyweight title on the podium. And then Triple H quoted Sympathy for the Devil by Rolling Stones. He talks about what he did to Roman Reigns on Raw. Looks like that might be your uh, WrestleMania song for uh, this year. <clears throat> he talked about what he did to Roman Reigns on Raw. Brags about uh, having authority and says everyone has to fall in line. Triple H says he will defeat Reigns at WrestleMania 32. Jericho, AJ Styles, mystery partner versus Tag Team Champions New Day. It was announced for later. Seamus Rusev, King Barrett, and Alberto Del Rio, League of Nations defeated. Neville, Ziggler, Sankara, and Galisto. Barrett got good ring time. Neville hit two red arrows on Barrett. Seamus hit broke bro kick on Neville for the win. League of Nations carried Barrett away on their shoulders as they celebrated. That was a celebratory move. <clears throat> Intercontinental Champion Kevin Owens is backstage with, with Renee Young. Offers Dean Ambrose his rematch, but Ambrose isn't here, of course. They know that. Isn't that the, something that uh, Alberto Del Rio used? But, but you already know that. Always brags about beating everyone and this is a challenge. Big Show appears and says he hasn't beaten him yet. Always mock show with retirement jokes and they make the match late for later. Devon Dudley squashed Jimmy Uso in one minute after Bubba Ray. Dudley interfered from ringside. Then they recap of uh, Shane McMahon's return. Undertaker will be on Raw as advertised. Backstage segment with AJ and Jericho picking Mark Henry as their partner. Kevin Owens defeated Big Show by count out. Good back and forth action. Strong moves by Owens to keep Show down. Owens won by count out after crossing Show on the top rope, knocking him to the floor. Natalya defeated Becky Lynch by disqualification. When Naomi and Tamina ran down, Tamina super kicked Natalya on the floor. Sasha Bates came down and assisted Becky Lynch. Navy champion Charlotte came out with Ric Flair and announced Becky versus Sasha for Raw next week's Raw. R Truth defeated Heath Slater with the help from Goldust. AJ Styles, Chris Jericho, and Mark Henry defeated the New Day, who were over big time, but not as much as Styles. Styles was said to be over with everyone, and his interest got the biggest pop. The New Day was cleared from the ring early for on for tandem springboards by Styles and Jericho. Henry, Styles, and Jericho also mocked their dance moves. Lots of fast paced action in this one. Styles made Xavier tap to the calf killer, or calf crusher. Styles, Henry, and Jericho celebrated. To end the show. Fourth report, courtesy of Steve Carrier from all wrestlingnews.com. As he reports for other sites too, not giving credit on this one. WWE taped the SmackDown, but here's his spoilers. SmackDown catch off with Triple H coming out, putting a World Heavyweight title on the podium. Triple H talks about what he did to Roman Reigns on Raw. Triple H says he will defeat Re Reigns at WrestleMania. Jericho Styles and a mystery partner versus Tag Team Champions New Day was announced for later. While this could mean nothing, a Raw event that takes place after WrestleMania is being billed as Raw vs. WWE. Of course, they will be getting speculation about the Shane McMahon storyline. <coughs> Sheamus Rusev, King Barrett, and Alberto Del Rio defeated Neville, Dolph Ziggler, San Cara, and United States Champion Callisto. Backstage interview with Kevin Owens. Owens offers Dean Ambrose his rematch, but of course, Ambrose isn't there. Owens brags about beating everyone. A match between Big Show and Owens is made. <clears throat> Devon Dudley defeated Jimmy Uso. Recap of Shane McMahon's return. Mark Henry is revealed as AJ Styles and Chris Jericho's partner. Kevin Owens defeated Big Show by count out. Natalya defeated Becky Lynch by disqualification. When Tamina came out with Naomi and Superkick Natalya. Sasha Banks came out to make the save. Charlotte comes out afterwards with Ric Flair and announces Becky... Versus Sasha for Raw. 
R Truth defeated Heath Slater. AJ Styles, Chris Jericho, Mark Henry defeated New New Day. Styles made Zombie and Woods tap to the calf crusher. Styles, Henry, and Jericho celebrated to end the show. No dark match due to injuries. We'll have you. Thanks again. See you on the And that does it for my spoilers for this week. For your SmackDown WWE main event. See you on the And if you don't know, just call me, brothers and sisters.